Hi creatives, we all know Adobe Illustrator is great for designing, but there are some game-changing features I think you might have missed. Today I want to talk about Adobe Illustrator's collaboration features and how to get the most from them. We will look at how you can share your designs directly with clients for feedback, how you can invite collaborators to edit the same exact document, and how you can create libraries and groups to keep track of all your files and keep them safe even if you drop a coffee on your laptop. These tips will make your life a lot easier and they work regardless if you're a solo designer or work as part of a bigger team. There are timestamps down in the description, so if one of the things I mentioned sounds like exactly what you want to hear about, then you can go and check that out. Many Adobe apps like Adobe XD has allowed you to collaborate with other people for quite some time, but it was only recently that you could do all of these different features in Adobe Illustrator as well. If you are a designer and you want to get your client's feedback without sharing the original file with your client, all you have to do is click share and choose if you want anyone with the link to be able to comment or only people that you have specifically invited. For this to work, you need to have your document saved to the cloud. And I think this is generally a good practice for all your files, because that means that even if you need to change computer or need to log in temporarily, even from another country, all of your files will be available since they're linked to your Adobe account. When your client uses the link, they will be able to pin comment directly to an area. So it's much easier for them to give helpful feedback than if they were writing all of these different comments in an email. If you want to make changes to the design, these will not be visible to people you invite to comment unless you click update content. This means that you can try things out without feeling worried about a client seeing work that is unfinished, which I think is a great feature. A few other tips that can be helpful if you want to edit who has access or if you want to change something about the link. If you just click the little dots next to the link, you'll be able to either delete the link if it's no longer needed or even require a password if you're working on a sensitive project and you want to manage who has access to the design. You can actually also invite a team member to edit a design with you. In Illustrator, Photoshop and Fresco, only one person can work on the design at the same time. Unlike in Adobe XD, where multiple people can edit at once. That means that you might want to coordinate who works on the file when. For someone to work on the design with you, they also need to have an account with Adobe Illustrator. So make sure that you use an email that is actually linked to your collaborator's Adobe account. Being able to work on the same document has saved us a ton of time because we don't have to worry about which version is the latest one. But how do you actually organize all of these different files in a smart way to make sure you're getting the most from the cloud experience? In your Creative Cloud, you can actually create libraries. And this is where it gets really interesting. I like to create a library for each of my clients and then have a group for each project. This means that all files from one project are all grouped together and I can always find them really quickly. Even if a client needs edits even a year later, let's say they're doing a yearly catalog and we would like to look at what we did last year. Here you can also invite someone to both edit and view a library. This is perfect if you're multiple designers working on the same project and you all need to have access to the same files. This was a quick video about a super helpful feature, but if you want to see me create brand identities all the way from scratch, make sure that you check out this playlist on the screen. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your projects and see you next time.